Once again, the media has made the good news to sound like a bad news. AMC stock just cut $62 million of its debt of the balance sheet. So this essentially it's a good news. You don't need to have a financial or economic education to realize that this is a good news. And this is exactly how they will make this positive title irrelevant. Putting a secondary title with the information, the dilution. It's still an issue for AMC stock. This is exactly how this format works. First of all, what happened? AMC repurchased or exchanged debt for equity of the tune of around $63 million. Good news. The company also successfully completed $350 million at the market offering. This is a good news for the company, might not be the best news for the shareholders. And in the end, they're gonna drop the negative factor over here, which is AMC stock is still down nearly 80% this year. But if we actually dig deeper through the numbers, you will see why this is a good news. It is a good news because AMC was able to sell these shares on the prices higher than the current prices. The ATM offering resulted in sale of 48 million shares at average price per share, $7.29. Which guys, for the first time indicates that Adam Mera didn't actually drop the shares at the peak, which the current peak was above $8 a share. So this time around he actually missed or this time around he chose a different strategy. He didn't decide to sell on the biggest startups that we have recently. But essentially it looks like that they simply saw that the stock might go even lower. So this is why they decided to drop the prices at the mid range. And guys the debt on the balance sheet is simply melting. So far this year AMC was capable to raise around 900 million dollars in gross equity capital uh, and lower the liabilities for approximately 440 million by reducing corporate borrowings. Remember, the interest on, on these particular obligations might actually go lower considering that the Fed might start cutting the interest rates in uh, the middle or the beginning of spring. So this might actually go even lower. Don't forget that sometimes they're actually repurchasing a forward debt so they will reduce the amount of interest that they're going to be paying for. This is additional benefit from the balance sheet. And if you look over here, you will understand what I'm actually talking about. AMC repurchased $50 million in principle of its 2026 10% second lien and the average discount of around 20%. Uh, so understand what kind of discounts and how much money they could actually save by doing so. On top of that, the company also exchanged around uh, 12 million dollars in principal amount of its 2026 10% secondly notes for 1.6 million shares of AMC. This is what the, the exchange for equity towards debt works and works very well for AMC. Considering that in this way around, they don't have to look for a buyers. They don't have to, you know, spend time, uh, you know, use third party, you know, company to simply help them to find buyers for this particular equity on the open market. They can simply you know, exchange debt for equity. This works for both parties, considering that uh, the, the, the party that actually collects the equity hopes that AMC uh, will go higher, will back to fundamental value. Many, many, many speculations, 15, 20, 35, all the way up to $40 expectations for fundamental value increase of the prices, simply because when AMC clear, clears up debt, which is melting very, very fast, astonishing fast, uh, you probably expect that the stock uh, has to go higher, right? So their return on investment could be, who knows, 5, 10, 15, 20x, another financial advice. And this is exactly how they can actually transfer good news, positive news, bullish news for the fundamental value, not only for AMC, but scroll through the news and try to find some bullish news, something that change particular companies fundamental value and you will always find a negativity you will always find something that uh, you know will make the good news smaller and smaller uh, while on the other side you will have much more negativity and expectations for bearish trends uh, this is my opinion over here guys let me know is this a good move in the right direction for adam Aaron?